Hey guys, it's your boy DC Gunner and coming at you with another knife review. This time with an Arpinal Classic France, made in France, knife. Just classic and one of the must haves uh, in your collection, overall knife collection. And it's very affordable. And I was thinking about giving you the Arpinal history, uh, but I won't. I'm just gonna tell you how I and where I got this one. And the, I just got home from Vienna. I went there with my girlfriend and we had a great time and I was walking at the Maria Hilfestrasse and I just saw the, in the evening uh, this lovely knife shop uh, which uh, was just really really great great experience to see something so familiar is so cool and something you love in the middle of the streets filled with all kinds of stuff I'm not interested in mainly fashion uh, stuff which my girlfriend adore and I just glued, I was glued to the uh, shop window and uh, unfortunately they didn't let me to film inside of the shop so I won't mention their name or our day and they were they weren't the nicest people around here or they were just uncomfortable to speak English however they didn't let me to speak uh, they didn't let me allow me to film inside so uh, here's a little footage of the shop window and I got this wonderful beautiful Alpinol and I'm not a big fan of Alpinols um, but th that goes for the big models but this smaller ones are just beautiful. It's, it's the same like you have the big feet. If you have big feet, uh, I'm pretty much Bigfoot myself. And uh, whenever I find some nice shoes or sneakers or whatever, and they look amazing. But when I when they give, give me out my number, uh, uh, which is, I'm gonna tell you, it's, uh, I think it's size 11 in your in the United States. It's 45. Uh, anyways, when they pull out this that same nice, beautiful sneaker, and uh, in my size, it's just hideous. It's ugly how big it is. And the smaller one version looks great. So I had a couple of Alpinals, uh, which are, I had number eight, I had number 10. Uh, I gave the, those away a long time ago. I, well, I wasn't really sure. Do I want to collect knives or whatever? Uh, but um, so I want always want to buy another one up and about. I knew it will be smaller one because uh, bigger ones are just uh, not so aesthetically appealing as the, this smaller one. Uh, this is a uh, Alpinal number six, and I think it's just a perfect size for me. Uh, m many people will say that the number. 8 is perfect size, I agree I had number 8, uh, but uh, number 8 it's a bit too small for me and this is perfect for pockets, and for EDC and it's such a classy way to EDC a knife and it's also affordable, uh, I bought, I paid for this 10 euros, uh, for uh, it's 10 euros at, I don't know how much but bit more bucks uh, up to 12 15 I'm not sure uh, but uh, it is around that price point and for that you get a lot of knife uh, it's a traditional knife uh, it has a locking ring here and it just folder slip joint and beautiful traditional knife um, worth having worth carrying and I love this especially for to EDC because it's a non-threatening non-tactical and so I will be more comfortable for uh, carrying this and it says here number eight I'll just give you a bit close it's a number number six it says number six in my bad I made in France and it's beautiful, it has a ring and it's a little, I believe this is a beechwood uh, standard issue up in house and I bought a stainless steel one just because I, I had the carbon, carbon one and they are definitely better colors and 
take an edge better and everything is better steel carbon steel uh, these come in stainless steel which is uh, inox and carbon uh, but it forms a patina and I just want this to be a bit shinier nicer knives and so without patina that's why I got the stainless steel one and I want using this uh, and that's the whole it has a really nice thin uh, blade with a nice geometry if you haven't been familiar with the opinal and it blade shape it's a full ground uh, flat ground and if I'm not mistaken but uh, it then cut its great color it cuts beautifully and it's made to cut into stuff very very easily uh, opinal history is a very interesting one and I will put some links in the description or in the description box a bit of a history if you are interested but I won't make it too long knife uh, video about it just beautiful beautiful uh, my new EDC blade fits nice in the hand as well it's a small cutter if you want to cut some stuff uh, whatever and cool EDC concept for me and I love it I just didn't show you the ring when it's in open position you just turn this away and it's locked and even if it's in a closed position you can turn this and lock it but uh, I don't really want to lock it here you can see here this little cutout uh, but I don't need it to be locked in a close it's pretty good detention it's a snug fit and it's a beech wood handle and it's a really classy way to EDC a knife and very affordable like I said I paid it 10 euros for this so my original idea was uh, and that knife shop things were overpriced like hell uh, cold steel cold 4 was uh, over a hundred euros and euros euro is a stronger than a, a dollar and this was my idea for EDC uh, to coordinate these colors because I have this golden light and it just doesn't go well with the tactical knives and this is my whole idea here uh, just to incorporate something like this or something like this with a gold color watch and just a beautiful beautiful piece and a uh, classy way and the bigger ones are not really my cup of tea but this number six is just beautiful just just perfect size not too small not too big and definitely recommend picking up this little french french beauty it's functional and it's beautiful and simple it's elegant just like a dress watch so i'm adc gunner thank you for watching and see you guys soon if you are not subscribed please subscribe don't forget to subscribe